antinomianism 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 alrighty then Antinomianism is on the stark contrast with legalism. If you haven't checked my video on legalism, why don't you just go ahead and watch that video first and come back to antinomianism. It is on the opposite spectrum of the man-made laws to please God. Antinomianism is actually a compound word consisting of two Greek words, anti meaning against and nomos meaning law. Combined it means against the law. So antinomianism believes that we do not need to obey the moral laws. Sounds fun, but is it? Let's find out. It's true that believers are not to obey the law to earn his favor because salvation is received through the blood of Lord Jesus Christ and no amount of good work can atone for the sin that we have committed besides the blood of the Lamb. But when we open the Bible, we find our scriptures ubiquitously spread across the Old Testament and the New Testament mentioning the commandments of God and his downright demand to obey them. Yes, God does want us to obey his commandments which are given to us for our well-being and sanctification. Obedience to his commandment is a sign that we honor him and we love him more than anything else in this world. Here is an analogy. Parents expect their kids to obey them and to follow the rules that are implemented for them in the house. No, the rules are not there to terrorize them, but to keep them away from harm and danger. The kids may not understand the significance of the rule at the moment, but they'll thank their parents when they look back and find themselves safe from needless harm and danger. So the same thing goes with the commandments of God, and a safe person will delight in his commandments. John 13, 34 A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another, as I have loved you, that you also love one another. Galatians 6 2 Bear one another's burden and so fulfill the law of Christ. John 14 15 If you love me, keep my commandments. Mark 12 30 And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first commandment. Apostle Paul dealt with the issue of antinomianism in Romans 6 1 2. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Certainly not. How shall we who died to sin live any longer in it? If we are saved, then we will show evidences, and some of them are love towards God, a reverence towards His commandment, and a desire to do His will. If His love does not really motivate you to obey His commandments, then I think you should really test yourself whether you are truly in the Lord. Yes, we do not need to obey civil or ceremonial law, but us believers, we cannot run away from God's moral law because it's the moral law that keeps us away from sin and shame. In the nutshell, antinomianism is anti-biblical and finds no root in the Bible. If we love our parents, we'll show it to them by obeying the rules that are made for our benefits. Likewise, if we love God, then we'll delight in His commandments which keeps us away from sinning against Him. A quick comparison. Legalism means to obey biblical and extra-biblical laws all to earn God's favor, whereas antinomianism, no laws at all. Do whatever you want, live however you want, however debauched and licentious you can be, all under the banner of grace through Christ, or better yet, cheap grace of Christ.